All right, guys, I am here with Dan D'Arginio, the second time world champion of Netrunner. How is it even possible? I don't know. <laughs> Still lucky. Still good. Tell me, okay, first of all, tell me about these decks. So, so Val DLR is now a, obviously a thing. It's kind of been a little underground thing for a bit. What, what does this deck do? What are the lines of play? What are you uh, looking at? What? First, let me give credit. Jonas Wilson from Maryland, I think, or DC. Uh, he's the one that built a deck. Uh, he came to the ANRPC Mid-Atlantic Circuit Finals with this deck in a field of multiple regional champions like, you know, me, Zach Havis, like Ben Mason, all these people in the top 16 worlds. Jonas is like, has been playing for about a, a year and a half, I think, but he just like started getting competitive, Yeah. And but he still plays Jank, and like this was the Jank that broke the camel's back. Wow. I mean, he just crushed everything. Nobody even knew what to do against it. Yeah. I mean, like, so, like, the past month was just, like, plates running this thing against everything. We were just like, what the hell can we do? <laughs> How do we beat it? Like, we're all seeing eye. Our guy memories all seeing eye. I don't know. <laughs> like, why'd they print no bad bub on all seeing eye? That would have been the perfect counter. <laughs> exactly, right? But, um, yeah, so, so it's Jonas's deck, almost card for card. Yeah. Um, I'm playing it like I, I I was switching around runner decks. I was like, let's try Andy. I found, I built Andy to beat any age, and it did, but it didn't beat anything else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've been in that. Uh, I don't know. I what else? I, I mean, I was playing I was playing my Reg Ass Max all year before that, but yeah, you talked a big Reg Ass Max game. Well, it was really good until people learned how to play against it nice. and put CBS in their deck. I think that deck was like. It like, was phenomenal for a while. It had this amazing quality of like being so super consistent that every game would be really close, and if you just outplayed your opponent, you would win. Yeah. But then the opponents started getting better, and then you didn't win all the time. Yeah. So basically, you're looking at install DLR, paparazzi, the whole thing, and then just mill, mill, mill. Do you ever mill corpse out? Is that a? Oh yeah, absolutely. Thing? I yeah. milled many corpse out. Nice. Uh, certain corpse, certain corpse you want to mill out. Certain corpse you want to score against. Yeah. So Harvester Cord, the Harvester Cord kill deck, mill out 100% of the time. You yeah. never want to score out against them because they're on a scoring race plan. Yeah. Um, and if you run archives, you hit QPMs and you lose. Yeah. You got to mill them out. Yeah. P, you got to mill them out because they have almost <laughs> no shot of killing you. So you don't want to risk running ever. Um, who else do you want to mill out? RP, you want to mill out because side games are a pain in the ass. Yeah. You don't even want to yeah. deal with that. <laughs> don't even want to deal with that if you don't have to. Also, they take forever to score and they don't score early. Right. So like... You get them to the point in the game where you're just trying to deny them the money to trash your things, mm -hmm. and then eventually when they like figure out, like, oh, okay, it's time I have to score, otherwise I'll eventually lose, then you start just going crazy, and you hope you can get it all down. I had one game against RP where I milled them for exactly enough. I had one game against RP where I milled them for exactly not enough. Right. Right? So right. those games, you got to mill them out. And they've got cricks. So like, if you like, run our guys, they'll like, crick their last Jackson yeah. in. And so, so why HP food? What's the deal? All right, so... It plays like your old replicating, kind of. It plays exactly like old replicating. Okay. All right, so here's why food. Um, two days ago, I was playing harpsichord, but now that I'm world champion, or I was, like, I say I'm playing harpsichord kill deck with 24-7. Everybody's playing harpsichord kill deck with 24-7. And then, I mean, then, you know, Kate slotted out of the blast screen back in. Then Kate was like, wait a minute, this isn't enough. Let's put two blast screen in. And then they're like, this is only a coin flip. Better find the film critic. Got yeah. the clock film crate, turn off the scoring plan, turn off the kill plan. I'm like, okay, that's pretty good. In the beginning, like, Anarchs, like, none of them had Blast Creed at all. Like, right, right. They start slot Blast Creed. Blast, one Blast Creed plus one I've had, or else you can't kill anybody. Yeah. And then nobody plays criminals, so who cares about that? But half of them are Leela, and you can't really score very easily against Leela because your whole plan is installed two agendas. Right. That doesn't work. <laughs> you know, install three. <laughs> so... I, tried, I played in the Icebreaker tournament, and I played against a Noise with two Blast Greets in, and I'm like, nope, I'm done. Audible yeah, time. Right. <laughs> I had this deck ready. I built it right before I left. I'm like, yeah, I mean, I know this deck is at least pretty good. I'll probably be able to outmaneuver the Cates. Yeah. Um, and the only thing really that changes is global food, right? I mean, this is a Oh, that's, 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 it makes a world of difference. It's I've okay, seen it. So like it. the HP deck before, the HP Glacier deck, was always okay, but you know, this priority requisition in your deck, and it was yeah. really bad. Yeah. Like, every time you drew it, changed everything. You're like, okay, so if I lose this agenda, I'm completely fucked. Uh, better, find, better draw for a Jackson. Oh, no, it's another agenda. And they're like, leg work. I'm like, oh, automatically lose. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. All right, food is different. Now they have to score four, you get to score three. That's the like sort of deck deal, I want right? to play. <laughs> now, like, you know, you like, and you got breaker bay grid. So, I mean, your main goal is to, like, get your asset economy online as fast as possible. Standard yeah. glacier stuff. So, 
I mean, now, like, you don't have to worry about priority wax. You, you got an NABD and you're like, fine, I'll draw two cards. Oh, there's my break break rate. Or right. if it's not, you know, it's right. whatever. Okay. Like, where are you? They'll get four points. That's not enough. That's halfway. I, w- I want to throw it around. So we, you're obviously, like, two-time world champion is insane. Like, that's crazy. I know. You can't even believe it, right? <laughs> How like, do these how fuckers do let me do this? <laughs> <laughs> but what a lot of people don't know is that you're very involved in the community as well. You're, you're in our pro circuit. Oh, who doesn't know? Well... <laughs> Probably a few of these guys at least oh, right there. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk to them. Tell me about ANR Pro Circuit and what's this all about and basically just community involvement in there. What's all it right. going to take to grow this thing? All Tell right, so about. the ANR Pro Circuit, like a lot of the competitive Netrunner players were like, you know, we love, we love like regionals. We love the big competitive events. We love going to nationals and coming here. This is an amazing experience. And we just wanted more of it. And um, especially one thing that we didn't like was that the U.S. regionals are so big but there's very little support for the U.S. Regionals winners when you compare it to, like, the European Nationals winners, which are similar size tournaments. Yeah. Um, so what we wanted to do, um, and, I, and it started off with, uh, with Ben Ben in the South and a couple of other guys, Dodge Pong on, on Stimhack and the Internet. They, you know, put together this thing called the Southern Mega City Circuit, mm-hmm. which was a bunch of qualifier tournaments around the South uh, that all fed into an invitational tournament in Atlanta, I think. Um, and the winner of that would get a trip here. Yeah. So it works a lot like a, a, you know, a European nationals would. Um, unfortunately, because of the laws around here and a little bit of difficulty of communication and the fact that FFG just, like, you know, they, they have all their plans and we don't know what they are yet. Yeah. Um, we couldn't, you know, get that to work. And they couldn't reserve seats for us legally, apparently. So we ended up just having to give away cash, which we didn't want to do. But I think all the circuit winners ended up getting here, um, including and and so so after the Southern Mega City, so we were like, wow, this is a great idea. We can yeah. do this anywhere. So now we've got one in the Mid Atlantic. There's one in uh, New England and, and Eastern Canada starting up. Uh, we've got one in the uh, in the Heartlands. Yeah. You guys, um, we're doing one. we got the Southwest Circuit. The, Heartland of America. Yes, Heartland of America HHC. Circuit. The hack. They all got funny names. We got like the what do you call it? Cascadia. Yeah. Um, so and then and then the Brits. The Brits the Brits did one, bring another Brit to Worlds. This is all like little Netrunner acronyms. Yeah. B-A-B-W, right. Yeah. B-A-B-W, so nice. so and, and and all the events were incredible. We all had such a great time. Yeah. I, I got I got killed by by a bunch of by a bunch of fuck boys on their DLR shit and <laughs> <laughs> so if, if somebody out there wants to get involved in this, wants to attend, where should they go? Where should they find the information? Okay, so com, stimhack.com. Go on the Facebook for ANR Pro Circuit. If you want to figure out when events in your area are, if there's no events in your area yet, we're rapidly expanding. It's very, like, it's a very, uh, like, I guess, a franchisable model. Anybody who has connections in their area wants to start up a circuit, you don't really need anything. We make a lot of prizes in bulk, and we send them out to the leaders of the circuits. The leaders of the circuits contact stores, get the events running. It's not too much harder than asking them to run a game night kit. All you've got to do is like sort of collect the money and then plan out the, the finals weekend. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, we mostly take care of, like, prizes and stuff. But, you know, all the individual circuit leaders do their own stuff. They're, everything's a little different. Yeah. Um, I, we're gonna, I mean, we've got, we've got a few Europeans uh, looking to start one up now. So not just going to be America and Britain. Uh, maybe Australia. Maybe even South America might hold an event. So it's going global. Oh, yeah. It's a big deal. Oh, it's, it's a going global. Well, my last question, man, is the secret to lack of sleep, is that really what it is? I don't know. Um... But it makes it a lot easier to relax. Like you know that feeling where like like you get this and it's a little wet and like you're like yeah. you feel like disgusting. You're like oh my god, I'm such like a sweaty neck beard. <laughs> Especially you. It's like <laughs> look <laughs> no. at this. What is happening here, man? I just shaved. It's okay. It's okay. But you this anyway, the feeling when when you don't have sleeves on, it's just like you just feel yeah. like you feel like naturally. Like, we oh, we like, all just have to do. We're that cooling now. off. You it's don't. Air, air is flowing <laughs> under here. Well, Dan, congrats, man. Yeah. Well done. This is Dan Darginio, two-time world champion. Now that is two cards he's contributing to the game of Netrunner. Hold on to your pants because I don't even know what they're going to be. I don't know what they're going to look like. They're not good. Like, <laughs> but they're not good. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. This is the end of uh, world's coverage for proper 2015 Worlds, and uh, what a way to end it, Dan. Thank you so much, man. Congrats.